listen up. Um, so yeah, what's been new? Um, I have just had my 21st birthday uh, this Wednesday, actually. I got some presents. Um, uh, I wish I could show them off, but I'm not good with a camera and I'm not good with video editing. So it's easier, easier for me to just record some sound and play some, play a game in a session and then just make a video from that. Um, my first present I got in the morning a set of a pillow and a duvet because I am thinking about moving out soon uh, but I don't have my own duvet or blanket or whatever you call it from where you come from um, so but now I have so that, that was a great one I got it from my mom and dad and it's a really good quality it's like 
to see bloody and violent things. <laughs> but, well, to me it doesn't matter. As you can see, this XCOM game is pretty darn violent. Oh, that was a nice shot. Um, yeah. And also, I got a CD uh, from a, a Danish rapper called Liam O'Connor. I don't know. I don't know that doesn't sound Danish, but he came from Ireland, I think. Uh, to Denmark. Uh, and from that information, you can probably guess that I'm Danish. I said I wouldn't tell, but hey, whatever. Um, and yeah, I just have to remember what I got. Oh yeah. Um, this is this was also for my little bro. This was an Assassin's Creed. Thank you. 
hours. It's just give you a bit of a shock, I think. Um, yeah, and she also gave me um, some blue sweets. They're called blue sweets because they, when you eat them, you get blue all over your lips and all over in your mouth and stuff like that. I'm planning to prank my um, my father's side of the family next time we're having sweets in a bowl. I'll just put the three of the three blue sweets in there too, and then I can see whoever <laughs> who got it. They look like blueberry blueberry sweets. <coughs> I haven't actually tasted them because I don't want to get blue all over my face, but I still would. I'm still curious of how they taste, actually. Um, but yeah, I had a great birthday. Uh, and my girlfriend got better the next day and she came and visited me. And I have bought her her birthday present. She has the 17th of November. Looking forward to giving her her birthday present. Uh, because she is a big Harry Potter fan. So I thought, hey, I want to give her, uh, I want to give her something from the movies. Uh, so I found uh, Hermione's uh, Time Turner necklace, golden necklace, and it's a little, t it's a little hourglass surrounded by some golden rings in a gold chain, and it looks really nice, and I know she will love it. So I look forward to giving that to her. Um, also, tomorrow I start on my new job. Not my new job, I start on a new shift, on a new team, on my new job. Um, because now I'm fully trained at what I do. Uh, I don't know what it's called, actually storage worker or something like that. Ah, oh, damn those aliens. Oh well. Um, I, yeah, I just fold, I just pack stuff together uh, so they can go out to stores. Uh, we, I pack kitchen goods and drawers and stuff like that for kitchens, kitchen assemblies and so on. Um, yeah. But I, now I start on the evening shift because that's what I was meant to uh, be hired for. I've just been trained for the last two weeks on the day shift because there's more people I can ask for help and there's just more happening. But I'm looking forward to it because now I can sleep in every day. <laughs> I can sleep till 10 and I don't even care because I don't have to go to work until 3. So. Yeah. And um, oh, what was my what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah. Um, actually, I, I was going to talk about this game too. Oh, nice shot. Very nice shot. Um, because I, I really love this game. I love strategy games. Oh, I got really lucky with that one. I love strategy games, and this one is, is, is a kind of a modern chess game, I think. Oh, dick move. Dick move. Um, and, yeah, it, it's a turn-based strategy game, where uh, you, of course, are the human race playing against um, the alien race. Uh, who's invading Earth, uh, and you have to position your units and complete certain tasks to get um, to get your objectives and your mission complete. Um, uh, I think he hits me, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Well, that's for two health. That's not too bad. So, the long, thin ones I'm playing against on this level 
um, a cold thin man's, obviously. <laughs> Great name for those, but there was a pain in the ass because they can shoot poison, as you saw, the poison cloud that hit my uh, female soldier. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, the camera just flipped out. Um, well, uh, they can shoot that from afar, and if you're standing so close to them when they die, they explode and in another poison cloud. So you don't, you don't want to get in close range on these bad boy, bad boys. Um, I was actually a little, almost too close, right there. <laughs> I don't get why I had a 70% hit rate on that angle, but I guess it's because I'm on uh, I'm, I have the the high ground. So yeah. Uh, I really just like the game. Uh, I love the graphics, and I love the feel to it. it you've, it, it's actually really hard. Um, normally, I play games on the hardest uh, possible uh, difficulty because I have the assumption, oh, not the assumption. I have. Uh, I know when you. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. That was just. I know when you play on the hardest level, you can't get it any harder. Of course you can. Uh, of can, but you adapt to the difficulty, so you're actually um, you you get as good as you choose to be. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, you adapt to the difficulty and. If it gets too hard, you can always lower it. That's the problem when you're playing and... Um, excuse me. Great shot. Great shot. Um, well, yeah. The problem, if you start on the easiest, you can't lower the difficulty if you're, if you're struggling. Um, if you struggle here, you will just just able to lower the difficulty. No worries. Um, but I don't have a particularly good um, uh, mind for strategy games, but I've always been fascinated uh, about them because I find there is... Uh, uh, it's nice to have a great skill set in... Uh, there's some prestige in have in being good at um, strategy games uh, and yeah so I always like to play them but I always suck <laughs> big time I don't know why he's born there and I think she misses yeah how do you miss a shot like that he's out in the open you stupid <sighs> I got so angry right there I remember that moment so bad actually expanded my <laughs> um, my subscriptions to whispers <laughs> in the latest days I've subscribed to two channels I wasn't subscribed to for before uh, the one is the one I like the most is whispering Canadian um, well because Reminds me a lot about Kiwi Whispers, actually. Um, and he also just rambles uh, about some really cool stuff. I actually like hearing about his um, uh, his survival trips because I think he is. Uh, I would like to go on a survival trip, actually, at some point, especially. In Canadian mountain and in the wilderness and just be dropped off with nothing but a knife and some string. That would be really cool. But I don't have any skills in 
survival, so I might have to take a course first or something like that. Um, but yeah, and that would be fun to uh, to try out at some point. I actually, um, uh, this is of course No Shave November or Movember or whatever you call. see an overwatch at immediately he just spawned well fortunately he missed but I think that's that's so ridiculous that they can do that um yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah no shave November uh, and I, I've I've chosen to participate in no shave November because I would like to support cancer research in any way I can but I can't donate any money because, well, I haven't got any. Um, it's as simple as that. If I had any, I would like to donate them, but I don't. Um, I haven't got my first paycheck yet, so. But maybe I will donate something uh, when I get my first paycheck. Depends on how much I got when I paid my bills. Um, but yeah, I like. I like the concept behind No Shave November. Uh, also, I get to see what I look like when I have a, when I have beard grown. I also get to see if I get any patchy areas or something like that. And right now, it uh, it doesn't seem too bad. I I grow a nice a nice beard. It doesn't look to attack you or anything. Not only it's not just only a neck beard or not just only a mustache or patch is missing everywhere. No, it's, it's just a nice beard. You can hear it if I scratch it against the microphone. <laughs> that was my beard. That was my mustache. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I've been noticing actually something about the Whispering Community. Whisperers uh, apologize a lot for what they do in their videos and something uh, excuse me there we go um, and actually that was a kind of apology but still um, yeah a lot of people apologize in their videos uh, about quality something like that um, the only time you should apologize as a whisperer is when um, yeah it's when um, um, it's when you really mess up um, I know I apologized in my last video uh, with the minecraft and the video quality but still um, I don't, uh, that was a mistake, I, it actually came out great, um, uh, but that's uh, just fraps, when it's recording, it's making a very laggy version, but when you put it through um, Sony Vegas, and they, and the program renders it, it renders it just perfectly for YouTube videos, it's really nice to look at. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I don't remember if I choose to wrap it up right here. Uh, yeah, I do. There's only 18 seconds left of the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just another ramble, uh, uh, with the gameplay in the background. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would like for you to have a great night's sleep.